to put pressure on Tvik. The early kills did allow Sweden to get control of the point pretty early on here. Tvik, his rockets are going into thin air. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but it's like Denmark do have an advantage now as they bring down Manhattan. Sharp falling as well, and this should be a quick retake now for Denmark. Easily done. Absolutely, and you've got to wonder, are Sweden going to make composition? Try and at least contest this to 99%. They start getting a few more plays, they might even be able to turn this one around, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Still going to be running them on. Ding actually opted to use his transcendence now, so they do want to contest this, but Dan is going to get de-suited out of his mech, which is going to be lacking a lot of those tank players, but now a lot of us was being used. Denmark still trying to really contest this one. Shaq moving into the fray, the flashbang in hand for Johnny, finishes him off with the fire strike. Still fight anyone's game right now as these last minute switches coming up from Denmark. They actually turn the fight around. Huge plays from Denmark. Great recontest with the Ultimates. They know exactly when a fight is winnable. Sweden apparently have no idea. There were three fights there where Sweden. And now Fischer has this EMP available, which certainly could win the fight for them. Ooh, only connected on some chips there. Just gonna get moved down, but the translocate comes out from Fischer. So he is alive for the time being. Now Sweden gonna try and turn this one. Gonna be even trades, and they managed to flip the point as well. Get that G suit as well onto Danny, but Shax is on clean up duty around the point. Reinforce was him around. Wasn't able to use his primal rage there, so actually dies with it available, and Denmark is straight back in the fight. Yeah, and this is gonna be a recontest easy for them. They should be able to clean up the last few players here. Denmark got everyone alive. Dies with dies sound, with barrier. The sound barrier. The cap is gonna be flipped over to Denmark. They are in complete control of this match. They're just going to finish off the last few members of Sweden here. It's just going to be a stagger and a stall attempt. But this is realistically heartbreaking, honestly. Martin is going to be switching over to the hammer, but again, not quite good enough. Denmark, pretty confident, Josh, that they're going to be taking this first map with you, ease. You don't think Chips Iron can do the 1v6? Ah, no, unfortunately no, not. Neither do I. And that is a disability to trying to hit a lot of these shots up. There's a beautiful one. Quick little smack in the face. Shaq brings him down. There's the follow-up as well. With those two picks, they can keep Shaq's up alive. I'm going to say this looking very, very good for Denmark right now with that d on top. Golden. Golden stuff. No other team is playing May as well as Denmark are and as well as Fischer is. He's got great icicle aim and his wall timings have been excellent so far. You saw reinforce utterly. But it seems like Sweden are going to be taking the initiative. Chip's going to be using that dead eye. He finds Sharp. That's an entry frag for them. We'll see what else they can do now as they get the D suit as well. And this is looking much, much better now for Team Denmark. If they can finish off the rest of these targets, they're going to be in a very good scenario indeed. Reinforce will fall. There you have it. Finally, Denmark going to be breaking his hold. Yeah, the rally absolutely pivotal there from Fischer. And a dead eye in order to force positioning came out from Shaq. But this is not a disaster. One last fight before Checkpoint B is claimed. Johnny's got to get value out of this Earth Shatter, but it's very difficult against this composition. He's not two of them down, but a charge will not connect. And Denmark capitalized instantaneously, picking up multiple kills. Shaq's going to be fighting the finale on Tavik, and that will be the second checkpoint going the way of Denmark. What? The mind games right now between him and Nerfed. Moving around the corner, we're going to see a lot of ults being used. Reinforce going to be using the air shadow. Don't know if they connected them to any target, but they are winning the fight regardless of that. Focusing them down effectively sharp as that all of the energy in the world right now is just melting these targets. Denmark are not going to be able to push this into the final checkpoint. It will be brought down in the nick of time. Johnny is going to be charging Shaxx across the map, but Shaxx actually turned this fight around. He managed to get a double kill on the point. The question is, can they keep this one going, Josh? There's only two players alive from Denmark here, but Danny's got so much health and Reinforce is stuck without anybody. Great punch from Twig, takes Nicely out Kellex, but in comes the Transcendence as well. Ding is there, gonna provide a bit more healing to the rest of his team, but Sweden are still they getting it. They can't down Johnny, he's coming in with the Earth Shatter, he's taken out the players, but now it's Fischer's turn to try and turn this one around. He's moved over to the Tracer, recall, dodging, juking, trying to keep this timer going. Kalex desperately now on the Lucio trying to stall this one out, but the Graviton Surge will be used just for him, and Sweden will stop them in the nick of time. And Denmark have been displaced. Jumping straight onto them, they've just blown Nerf up. He's gone, he's out of the fight now. Hat can make clowns for Sharp, he's on 50% energy, but it doesn't matter. Sweden seems to be just slightly edging this fight out in their favor right now off the back of their superior focus fire. And this is the power of this composition, really. Just one big mass of players, one big mass of heroes running down these players one at a time, efficiently killing them. 
And to, that's uh, essentially the, the way they won that one, I feel like. Oh, and he connects it onto the mid-air, going to be deleting a big chunk of his damage. And Sweden are just playing a full-on aggressive, aggressive game, I should say. And they're going to be, again, winning this team by out. It seems like Denmark just cannot catch a break. They seem to be struggling to really get any value out of this team composition. They definitely are, and I think this is time for swaps. Team Denmark have to have a really aggressive so Denmark. Straight from behind, Reinforce going for the charge. The South is struck by Manitou, brings down one. Dimex Dani, and now Denmark forced to use the Transcendence. Can they keep this one going? No. Sweden are showing no signs of slowing down. The coalescence is going to be topping them up with the heels, dealing a lot of this damage. And the victor swinging away sharp with the dead eye. And that will be that. Sweden going to be taking up. So they need their tanks to engage quickly. Pick onto the lower of the two high grounds as his tanks go Beautiful. Top. Sharp, sharp with the pick on the Kalex. That's enormous. That's exactly what you need. And you bring down that. Mercy, it's ideal. It's a bit going to be just about escaping on 23 HP there. Johnny's leaving up top. He's going to be leaping away. He's still alive. Danny not managing to bring him down. In fact, now he's going to start losing the heals. It's going to be a nice and easy cleanup here for Sweden. Good initiation, good engage. Surprisingly well coordinated from Sweden, actually. Which means that he can really disrupt the back line whenever he chooses to. All a bit weak there, pinned up, but he's still being healed. And Denmark. They don't even need to use it. They are finding these picks regardless of what's happening. They certainly are, and Ludi's already disengaged. Goes back to pick up chips. They're both going to have their ultimate. They're able to really contest with the rest of this team. You can see ults being used now, though, by the rest of Denmark. EMP's laid out, but it seems like it is going entirely in the way of Denmark. Finding so many picks here. Fisher not even falling. Probably going to get that one as well. There you go. Vix fallen, and that is a lovely hold by Denmark. They're playing some lovely Overwatch. Very aggressive. Much more easily. Well, Blade being used now by Denmark. This is the last ditch ever, but Ludi brings him down. He's out of the fight now. This is looking excellent for Team Sweden. A minute 20 seconds on the clock. They should easily be winning the rest of this team fight out. Even with a tire, I don't think he even really needs to use it. They can just focus down the rest of these players. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. They're going to be holding back onto the high ground here. Sweden. Like they want to take it through sheer force of will. They're getting destroyed. It has to be a big blade now from Fisher. 57 HP, but he gets through past and the mine around the corner. I don't believe what I've just seen. Oh my goodness. Sweden are taking Denmark the distance. Oh boy. Damage, but is it going to be enough right now? Sweden still slamming this one forward and they're focusing down the target. Sweden having an absolute field day with this one. They switch shacks over to the far as well, but Kellex gets brought down right in the nick of time. Sweden are having a field day once again. I'm going to come out with the same line twice in a row because people don't really listen to the cast anyway. But they are doing it. Speak over on the Arisa, and I know they'll be happy to play serial references. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, right now. They're like 4 a.m. There's a, there's a reference for all two of you that are watching this right now. Great Beautiful stick. snake by Tavik, and they brought Kellex down as well a little bit earlier. This is wonderful for Sweden right now. Denmark, got to try and pressure and take as much time off this card as humanly possible. Doesn't look like it's going to be doable, though. That is some great maneuvers there by Sweden to try and win that fight out. And strangely, it's been Denmark with all the pressure on their back line recently. You would normally expect some positions. They did get a resurrect, which means they can take the fight once again. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Manhattan in the back. There's the double kill with the South of Strike. That probably shouldn't be happening, but it seems like Sweden are doing it. Danny's going to get teammates. Another one team fight for Sweden, and hit these shots straight in the heads. Still going to be finding them, getting the kills, getting the damage in. To Vic is building up this Dragon Strike sharp. It's another shot onto Kalex. Sweden might just be doing this one now. They're going to try and salvage it. Denmark with the South of Strike will bring down chips. But is it enough? I don't think so. They've got nothing to contest this back line. Nurse is going to try his best. He does take out Ludi, but not before going down himself. Still, an opening now side show for Sweden. A Dragon Strike has come through as well, splitting the team in half. But with Shaq's finding sharp, and then another pick on the pick. He has oh just one v 2 their double sniper composition and won the fight for Denmark there. Even so, the spawns seven are coming seconds. in. And with seven seconds left, five, I'm not sure ever anyone's even going to be able to touch the point. Sweden tried. They had a good attempt at the end. Tvik didn't hit enough shots, honestly, to be able to make that one viable. Both of these were to make great positions where their mercy can come in for a res, but of course on cooldown for a little Ooh. bit longer. Beautiful. Okay. And they're setting up these kills. Any picks you can get right now. Okay, all right. Jack's trying to prove me wrong. Tasty business. 
Widowmaker's winning this out. And now Kelly's going to be using his Resurrect onto Fisher to bring him back up. Denmark, they seem like they are winning this one. They're going to get the Resurrect back from the Sharp. And how much can one man really do? Especially being run down like that. Very low sliver of HP. And Nerf is easily able to just zap the rest of Sweden into submission. Pretty decent, patient play coming game a little bit. Vix made a switch over to Genji to try and have one more option of dealing with them, but infrared sight for both these teams, I believe. Now it's Vix coming from behind. Shaq's going to be healed back up. Can Vix get this kill? Yes, he can. Joker to the head will take him out, but it doesn't matter regardless, because Denmark going to be using a lot of their tangles once the Primal Raid to clean this one up. Nerf having an absolute field day. One of these guys that we've talked about and who's really stepped up in this World Cup has been nerfed. A lot of players underestimating him, and now he's showing up. Definitely so. Luddy got picked by a self destruction Used by Kellex. Both the support ults used by Denmark to try and defend this one, but they seem to be winning the fight out. Denmark are desperate to try and take this one to a map five right now. Nerf using his Bramble Rage to just keep them locked away in the spawn. Manaton batters him back. Using the Sandy Truck for brilliant bubble placements coming out by Nerf once again. Blocks all the damage. And there you go. Denmark are desperately trying to take it to a map five. Will not find the value. Sharp and Blue Strap surge, but there was no follow up. But it seems like now Sweden are able to turn this one around. It's a cluster on the fight. Reinforced, cleans up nicely. Urshanta by Nerf, no value from that one. But Sharp now going to be up to defuse his Graviton surge. The fight is being turned in their way. Reinforced with another party shatty, bringing two targets down onto the ground. And this looks like Sweden. By sheer force of will, I'm able to take this first round here on the ball. Great play from Sweden to take the first stage. They looked so this one could slip away from them. The, their chances were already they out got of their Shaq's hands. Back. Shaq dies first, and it's 93%. This was the final fight. They gotta do this now, but Denmark are crumbling. They've got players on the point, but it's not good enough. They found another one, Johnny, with a charge across the map. Earth shatter for good measure. It's overtime, baby. And Denmark will not be going to BlizzCon. Sweden take the final map, and it goes the distance. And you can see how pleased they are that they ended on a high note. Fantastic.